In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most effective money plays so far in the Madden 23 beta. You can use this play to beat every single defense in the game, and I actually think this might be one of the reasons as to why the Gun Bunch offense is so effective year in and year out. The routes that you get from Bunch and Trips specifically, those two formations have some of the best route concepts in the game that's part of what makes those formations good year in and year out and so after playing the beta i've been playing it non-stop for the last couple of weeks and just wanted to give you um, just a quick tip here for offense defense has certainly improved um, and offense certainly i think you know there's some challenges uh in the beta just from a terms of like what we have to do to be able to consistently uh attack the defense and so the gun bunch um comes back to the fold as probably the probably one of the top offenses uh in the game now what i'm going to do here is we're just going to play against default zone drops here's the reason why in the beta zone drops actually really aren't that great um they don't necessarily play that much better than the standard zones in my opinion the standard zones play a lot better with the drift logic that ea has added and the way that they match and change routes now again i will say they'll probably i think improve zone drops for the launch of the beta uh, because as it stands right now stock um, or zone dropped clouds really take a long time to get back especially in cover two so that's just something to kind of keep in the back of your mind now this is um again a gun bunch money play we're in the washington uh playbook and what we're going to do here is we're just going to kind of make some substitutions. Now, ideally for this one, you want your bunch to be actually on. You can do it on either hash, but I actually think this play does work better um, to the wide side. Just gives more space for the corner route. But the play is bench pivot out of the Washington playbook. Now, um, if you guys want to learn my entire gun bunch offense, join our Patreon because we're going to be going through. Um, and putting together some really cool things over the course of the next month for um, Madden 23 launch. We're going to kind of turn a lot of our content into our Patreon, into essentially our our concepts that you can start preparing for Madden 23 today with our Madden 23 uh, material. After playing the beta and after kind of getting a sense for how the game's going to play, the Patreon will be updated completely with routes and concepts that will cross apply to Madden 23. Probably, uh, and and again, when I say probably, it, you know, typically with these things, these things do carry over. So that's kind of how we're shifting our membership. So if you want to sign up for that. 10 bucks will get you access to everything um, over the course of the next month we're going to have at least i think three or four offensive ebooks and three or four defensive ebooks um, that i already have kind of prepared uh, to release so if you want to check that out the link is in the description but let's just jump through this play here uh, the first thing and i actually think the best coverage for this um, is this cover four drop but what makes this makes this play so special is actually this route to circle um, so all we're going to do is streak Godwin, and then if you want to put the running back on a route, you can. I don't like to. And real quick pro tip, when you want to, if you're looking at picking up pressure, what you want to do is you want to ID the corner on the side the blitz is coming in. So like, let's say that we're worried about pressure to the right, we're going to ID either the outside corner or the slot corner. What that'll do is you'll see the line will kind of slide to the right. And then you see how we keep this little void. Now this is basically like a makeshift kind of wheel route, if you will. And um, you'll see here, now this, in Madden 20, uh, in Madden 23, this route to circle is a very sharp cutting speed out route. In Madden 23, you're going to need to be able to be equipped to beat man to man. And so this route does that. You see here, even, even against a, a zone, it doesn't necessarily always play it. I'm gonna put a hard flat out there. And this is a route that I think you just need to learn how to throw. Now, you can, if you want to, motion him out, but he loses some of his ability to cut sharp. So I've you know, kind of tested both. Hard flats, as you can see, that's a hard flat, and it doesn't necessarily play it. In Madden 23, it's actually fairly similar. They actually have to go to a cover two because what they need with this route, what makes this route so good, is it has outside leverage, okay? They, they have it, we have outside leverage. So now they have to hard flat on that side to be able to defend uh, Scotty Miller's little quick out. And so we're gonna be able to say, okay, you know, we're gonna hit the tight end right over there. So you see how you're gonna have a, a high low on that defender. Now, if they're hard flatting out of, let's say a cover four drop, and that's why I wanted to start with, you know, the cover four drop, I think is the best way to defend this. Um, again, you have that little void in the, in the zone that you can hit right off the rip. But the other thing that you can do with this is 
you can kind of work to throw this. This is a little bit tighter of a window um, in Madden 23 than it is in Madden 22. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind. But if they are doing something like that and they have that, that cloud, um, or I'm sorry, that, that zone drop right there like so, then what we can do is we can hit this right on the cut early uh, in the play. If that's not there, we can come back and hit our hit our uh, dig route to to uh, Mike Evans. Now, the other thing that this does a really good job of beating is cover three. And it's actually probably the best cover three, just like flood play, because of the fact that this third on the right will not play this at all. He won't play it in Madden 23, and he won't play it in Madden 22. And so that's, you know, that's something else that you have going for you. And then the last kind of defense that I wanted to go over is a double flatted cover two. So we've got a hard flat and we've got a cloud flat. This is actually a concept that I think you're going to see break a return into competitive Madden in Madden 23 because of the fact that the stock cloud flats are really good zones this year. Uh, and what you'll see here is if you wait on this corner route, you can pass lead that straight up and you can get over the top of that zone. Now, I uh, also want to show this against match coverage, and then I'll show you it against uh, man coverage and cover for, or in uh, Mabel. So what you'll see, if it get a match call, um, the tight end early is a really easy read. And you'll see this, and this actually happens in Man 23. Probably, I actually would make an argument that match coverage, um, it wasn't necessarily better, but it's different. Um, it's different in, in the two generations. And so the way they match routes are certainly different in Madden 23. And, and not necessarily the concepts, but like how fast they match. Um, you know, they kind of more so receive routes in Madden 23. And so what it does is it leaves that little quick void right there where I can hit that tight end right on the cut and be able to be effective in that manner. Now, the other thing that you have to understand, if you're playing match coverage or if you're playing somebody that's running a lot of match coverage, they basically have to make a decision. Am I going to go to the right or the left? Because if they go to the right off of the rip here, that route right there is going to kill them because it's basically man-to-man -man on that player, which leads me to my next coverage. We're going to take a look here at man-to-man. -man. And um, what is also really good about this play is, like, let's say you get a blitz. In Madden 23, the blocked running back will pick up this edge loop blitz. Um, and so what you'll see here is, you know, I can hit this right on the cut right there. And what you want to do with that is if you get a man call, or really even in general, if you're hitting that tight end on the cut, you really want to make sure that you're aggressive catching. Now, let's say um, this happens a lot in Madden 20, uh, in Madden 23. They don't always press this route to circle. So if they don't press that route to circle, what you'll notice here is he will he will typically get open for a quick read. And I'll tell you, that separation is actually a lot better on the beta. Okay, so that's something else that I think is really important to understand. And then, you know, so they're going to have to drop a zone over there for that. And then, you know, now they can't blitz you or whatever. And then the beauty of this is this backside dig is a great man beater. Uh, once again, you'll see here when he cuts um, smart, just aggressive catch it over the middle. And as you can see. Um, it's fairly effective. Now, if you wanted to put your running back on a route, I would put him on a, a wheel. Um, and the reason why is because in Madden 23, the wheel routes are actually not as toned down as people would lead you to believe. And what I mean by that is you can still throw them um, specifically against man. It's a little bit of a different pass lead. Um, you know, here it's like it's a low ball. In Madden 23, um, they basically tried to remove low balls by making them really inaccurate a lot. Um, but what you can do in Madden 23 is try just, if you're playing the beta, pass lead the wheel outside right on the cut. You'll find that that is a really effective way to throw the wheel the wheel route. But anyway, you see there, I can hit that. Um, and again, if I had a backfield master, that'd be a little bit more effective. You could put him on an out route, but out routes actually this year, in my opinion, they don't get the same kind of separation that they got in Madden 20, um, in Madden 22. And then the last coverage that I want to go over with you today is a double Mabel with a 30-yard cloud on that outside. And the reason I wanted to show this defense um, is because what you'll notice here is that this this purple um, that's, a, that's at 10 or 5 or 10 yards will not really guard this. Um, they'll suck inside. And zones in Madden 23, uh, in my opinion, one of the things is definitely a lot more, uh, more effective than in Madden 22 
But the zones oftentimes struggle, in my opinion, to get outside on this out route to Miller and in different route combos like that. So you see that's open. And then if they are in a zone drop, you'll see here that that, that kind of it does play it. But I will tell you in Madden 23, the zone drop doesn't play it as good. Um, it, it definitely can play it. So there is a little bit of a read component. You can't just blindly throw this. But another thing that I do want to point out, let's say they're double Mabeling like this, okay? That means there's no yellow zone over here. So what should happen is if I can hit that right there, I've got a little pocket in which I can throw that. That's all I'm trying to get you to see. So anyways, I think Washington, at least as it stands right now, Washington or Cincinnati, if you're going to be a bunch player, those two playbooks to me are the most effective as it stands right now in the beta. And this route combination is going to be critical for your success in Madden 23. I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you want to learn more, about the gun bunch offense i've got an ebook available in my patreon and we're actually going to be putting out some more material for the bunch formation um, to help prepare you and equip you for the madden 23 season uh, 10 bucks gets you access to everything so if you want to learn this offense i think this will be probably the best day one offense in madden 23 and uh, we'll have you equipped to fully run it to perfection thanks for watching the video and we'll see you guys next time if you want to grab the patreon membership there's a link in the description for you.